Hey, what's up? It's Chanel, and it's that time of the month for the patron prize package. Now, this month is extremely important. We have some goals that need to be met so we can grab maybe not just one of the Helios Press fundraiser items. As of right now, we all in the patron kind of have agreed upon at least getting one of the Die Hard Nuclear War Now Helios Press releases. And at the moment, it's Blasphemy, Fallen Angel of Doom, the never released version that the band doesn't even have with the shifted vocals. It's insane sounding. $100 LP, worth every penny, four pound cover made of like metal etching of the Fallen Angel of Doom cover. It looks fantastic. Like, it's this with a, it's a silver cover, metal etched. It's so nice. The whole box set is $500, and I know that's just out of my range completely. Like, I wish if I had that, I, I would buy it myself for the channel. And when it comes to getting the Eternal Hails, I would have... Regardless, throwing the channel name in. I don't need my name on there. I would rather have everyone that made it possible on there. So, this month, just in case someone overseas wins the patron contest, and this was not easy. Like, seriously, I... For a couple months now, I'm like, all right, if the patron doesn't get to 50 people based on this item right here, I might have to legitimately, but see, it all depends. Like, if I see after today's video that the donations have gone up. The, here's the number one thing. New patrons. Because I'm getting buried by YouTube here. I don't know what the hell's going on. But every video... Like, I don't get paid by ads, period. But still, every single video... Let's say I was, like properly monetized I would be making maybe 25 cents if that so one dollar a month to join the patron I don't think is asking much for daily content I'm not going to charge you money to answer questions or anything like that if you want me to review your band Send it over, I'll do it. As long as it's not a CD. Just because I don't have a workable CD player and I don't want you to send me something that I have to listen to in the car. And no matter what, I'm just not going to be as gung-ho about it as if, you know, you sent, like, a cassette version or an LP version or even, legitimately, I would rather have like, just a dub pro tape than have a CDR. Or even an official CD version, to be honest. So, this month, I lost a little bit too much weight like, recently. Like, I I'm at around 165. That's not, like, now. Nah. I gotta get back to, like, 178 by, like, 
summertime. And I, I will. It's just, eating like one meal a day, it, and like that's not out of, I'm going to go on, no, that's because one meal a day. I'm broke! But, just <laughs> further proof that all the money made in the Patreon goes back into the channel. My hospital bills are, like, astronomical. Hundred plus thousand dollars. I'm not even joking. Like, I was talking to my cousin's wife, and she was like, I hate to say this, and it's not as negative as it sounds, but you might have to declare bankruptcy, and I was just like, cool, but I forgot to mention, we're blasting Finland's Malformed EP, brought to you by you, and I'll be doing something about this artwork, because there's something very similar about the Bone Sickness cover and the Malformed cover, although it is totally different. I should have got the Bone Sickness LP set up, but I did not. Wait, where's my cassette? For okay, hold on one second. I don't know if the tape version... Okay, kind of. And it's both on cassette. So, alright. It's a different guy, monster thing, but when I first saw it, I was like, wait, that looks familiar. But it's not. It's different. You, you could tell the difference, too. But just wanted to point that out. Because, see, the arms bent the other way. I don't know. I just, I, I noticed it, and I was like, whoa. Because I couldn't, I was like, why does that look so goddamn familiar? But this EP, The Gathering of Souls, ERP, so good via the Caligari Distro, thanks to you, if you are a patron. So, let's go over this month's prize pack. And what I was getting at was... This incantation t-shirt is an XL, double-sided, I've worn it legitimately maybe three times tops just to shoot a video in and then took it off because look at this thing, it's, it's just huge on me, like it fits like um, Spongebob Squarepants, but that's what I mean, like, I'm legitimately not big enough for this, and I don't want to cut the sleeves off and gut it, so I would rather give it to you, good ladies and gentlemen, so this incantation, double-sided, 666 Ibex Moon, well, I'm just calling it Ibex Moon because of the goat and everything. Because it is an Ibex goat. And if you don't know what Ibex Moon Records is, then you're probably not a real Incantation fan. And I'm being serious. Because uh, I'm not even, like, if you don't know, you gotta, like, you should know. And I suggest looking into it, because you're going to be like, Oh my god! <laughs> it's ridiculous. But, next up, on the cassette front, 20 bucks spin, the debut full length, I think, it might be the sophomore full length, from... California's Command. This is Death Age. 20 bucks spin. I legitimately played this a couple times 
for the the review, and then it just never really even pops in my head. I actually completely forgot that I owned it, and then when I re-listened to it, I was like, "Oh, like this this isn't bad." So like, why? And then I remembered the same exact day that this arrived, I won a copy of Bolt Thrower Fourth Crusade on cassette. So I kind of was like, oh, like, okay, sick. And then Death Age just kind of went on the back burner, and again, I know some of you definitely already like this band and will enjoy a cassette copy of Command Death Age because this was originally a patron pick. But I just never really got around to like getting into it as much as I thought I was going to, but it's still a nice slab of death metal. But, here's the real banger. And I'll try, like I said, because of international shipping, I have to make this month a little bit lighter. So, here comes the heavyweight. Let's do the posters first, and then we'll do the LP, because the LP, it's out of print. You can do whatever you want with this record, but I suggest just listening to it. I mean, if you want to flip it, go ahead. If you have the Extremely Rotten reissue, the Head Split original cassette, I still, even though I have those, getting rid of this is not easy. But, real quick, the posters this month. Like, this is a bat poster. Oh my goodness. In Venom. Debut full length from Sabat. Come on. That alone. Hell yeah. You'll also be getting the Spectral Voice issue of Decibel. Spectral Voice cover article. This is actually a really good article. And, yeah. Hails to the Spectral Voice. And it's such a good article. There's a nice write-up about my friend Dutch Pierce. And if you want to know how I found a lot of demos back in the day... Dutch's column, like, legitimately was a game changer. Now, the only poster I'm, like, hanging on to is my Dying Breed poster. Just for obvious reasons. But the Sabat poster, Spectral Voice Decibel, Nuclear War Now poster. And a nice write-up as well. Then here is a... I forget what band this is for. Mystifier. This came with uh, Wicca. Sick show flyer. This was another, every poster this month, I was like, oh man, these are sick. 1990, I guess it's such a dope, Satan waits for you. This is such a sick, sick flyer. And here's another sick show. This came with the uh, True Iron Will LP. Death Worship at Hotel Vegas. 
along with Bloody Vengeance, True Iron Will, and then there's some extra tour dates. Badass. And now, here's why I was like, all right, uh, and you probably just saw Fetid, yes, and this is not the copy that I am giving up for the contest. Here's the head split tape, the original, but that's also not the prize pack. We were blasting Malformed, and drum roll. It's the first vinyl press of Fetid Sentient Pile of Amorphous Rot. Baneful Genesis Records. One of the biggest nightmares of a pre-order of all time. Which is one of the reasons I honestly was like, well, I'll hang on to both just because I like having two covers, etc., etc., etc. But, Baneful Genesis, after nine months, didn't send me my colored LP. I just got black from ERP, which I am 100% fine with. Also, having... The cassette with the original cover art, as well as having the cover art right here. I'm happy, and I always liked the Extremely Rotten cover a little bit more, and I never had a copy of it. But I was always so happy because I had, before Extremely Rotten did the 12 inch reissue which was so so good and just well deserved like with the mortiferum one i already have like the pro profound order version of altar of decay so i was kind of just like oh i probably should get both getting you know both artwork, like, both covers and stuff, but again, I was thinking, and I was like, you know what, let's hook up the channel. You can win Fetid's Mighty Demo, Sentient Pile of Amorphous Rot, Baneful Genesis Records, first press, no insert, and that's not because of me, it just did not come with an insert. I will hook you up. I have tons of stickers. There's only, like, two stickers I'm keeping, too. I'll show you real fast. I'm keeping this carcass sticker. And I'm keeping this Jeff Hanneman Angel of Death Still Raining sticker for my bicycle. Like, these are bike stickers. But, like, I'm talking, we have Gorbion Necropsy stickers, Purulent Remains, Dead. Uh, there's tons of sick shit over here. Like, legit, tons and tons. Necrony, Putrid Ophel, some Unmatched Brutality stuff. Just tons and, like, I'm over here and, like, legit... A shit show. Uh, I I don't mean it in a bad way. I mean it in a good way. Like, just tons and tons of goodies. Including some, like, DIY, a cursed womb art that I never really did anything with. You might also get this witch vomit little... Poser Disposing Metal Execution Magazine slash Insect Warfare 
you know what? Yar. Just for being awesome. I'm going to put it inside of the fetid LP. Just so you know that you fucking rule. And like I said, black vinyl, it was supposed to be blue, but here's the one thing that really makes this stand out, because you get one piece of bonus artwork. That I personally, I, I love that, and again, this was supposed to be like blue. But, yeah, I was just happy to even get a copy. And it sounds gnarly, like, in a good way. Like, I think the ERP version was, like, remixed a little bit. I'm not positive, so let me check real fast. Because I, I forget if they did any... Like, uh, cause no matter what, you have to master it for vinyl, I think. Uh, mastered for vinyl by Lassie at Belayed Studios 2023. So that's what I mean. Get a fresh version of one of the most rotted demos ever. I mean, hell, it opens with rotted. And there was part of me that was like, trade the ERP, I meant like, put the ERP version up. But again, like I said, I've been after that. And technically, having the cassette does give me both covers still. So, I'm good. And I know it's out of print. But... Like I said, un unless, like, your patron is at least $20 this month. Like, if your donation's at least $20, yeah, I think that's fair for everything. Like, the LP and everything. Or... I'm probably just going to bite the bullet. You win, you win. But I kind of, again, like, just, this is something you're not going to be able to really get easily. This is not the reissue. This is the first vinyl press. So I'm just throwing that out there. And in very good shape, like, for, like, it being shipped in, like, a pizza box, it only has, like, one dinger on it, which, a couple dingers, but it, it legitimately, I have, you can watch my video, just, it's nothing serious. Like, legitimately, it's nothing serious at all. Yeah. So, Fetid's legendary now, modern death metal demo, sentient pile of amorphous rot. First vinyl press will be up for the patron prize package for the month of March. Meaning, I pick the winner April 4th. So, keep that in mind. So, like, again, you can... It's just a dollar a month to join. Fuck what I said about $20. I just Let's just build the Patreon. But, just throwing it out there, there's been a couple times where, like, $3... Donations win, like, $300 plus dollar packages. So, that's what I mean. If everybody just throws a little bit in, if you already are a patron, you fucking roll.
And yeah, you're already in the running to win all this. The command tape, the incantation shirt, and the fetid LP? Come on, this is a death metal banger ass package. I know it's not as much as usual, but you're going to get a ton of stickers. You're also getting issue of decibel magazines. I might throw in a couple uh, newsletters and zines. You're going to get hooked up as usual. Like, ask, ask Matthew. Like, if I hook it up or not. Matthew O'Donnell. Ask him. Because he's won three contests. Ask him, like, hey, how sick are the packages? He'll be like, oh, shit. Like, yeah. Like, that's... Schnell, <laughs> Schnell doesn't play when it comes to that. And I don't. But I felt so bad when, like, one of our highest... Donators and supporters, like, won, and the shipping was just, like, completely, I, 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 I didn't, I don't have that type of money. And I just did not expect, like, I always forget how expensive Sweden mail is. And this package weighed around 20 pounds. It was, like, over $60 to ship. So, by keeping it light, but keeping it, like, all killer, no filler, I think this is a better way of going about it. And, like I said, out of print when it comes to this edition. So, don't be like, well, the extremely rotten versions... Go, go get the ERP version. Like, I love Fetid. Huge fanboy. But I want to build the patron. I want to make the channel better. So, sacrifices have to be made sometimes. The Baneful Genesis version of Sentient Pile of Amorphous Rot can be yours starting at one dollar. If you are already not a patron, there's different tiers you can choose from. And like I said, sometimes people win with like three dollar donations. Other times like hundred dollar donations. There's I don't think there is any at the moment. I think there's a $50 one, which is awesome. I'm not positive, though. I have to I have to go back in and check. But this month, I legitimately... I was, I'm trying not to look until I start getting some emails about getting new subscribers to the Patreon. So, like, the goal is 50. By... April 4th. If we can get 50 subscribers, 50 new patrons by the end of the month, they don't have to keep their donations for the prize unless they want to, which I, you can always pull it out on the 5th. But the 5th is Patron Picks Day. So here's another thing. If you are not a patron yet. If there's a release that you are interested in. Now this month is the only month where there is a pre-chosen release. And that's the Blasphemy, Fall Angel, Doom, Helios Press, Die Hard, LP. And eternally it will say, you know... Vital Vinyl Vlog patron in the, like, Eternal Hails, thank you, like, list and stuff. So, it, it's gonna be sick. It's the never-released version of Fallen Angel of Doom, and I just feel this month's prize package, like I said, yeah, like... 
You get a little bit of everything except for a CD. And I might even throw in a CD. It's just the car's not here right now, so I don't have a CD aside from a Cursed Wound CDs. But those are my personal copies. If you're interested, though, hit up uh, Pat about that type of stuff. But, Fetid, Sentient Pile of Amorphous Rot, Command, Death Age on Cassette, Whoops. Spectral Voice Cover Article of Decibel, Sabat Poster, Nuclear War Now poster, and two gnarly show flyers. You get the uh, Mystifier show flyer and the Death Worship show flyer. And this XL incantation shirt. If you want a large or something... I can maybe trade it for something else. But this just like legitimately, I don't wear it. It doesn't fit me right. So I, again, would rather give it to someone that's going to wear it and stuff. So keep that in mind. It's a dollar to join. Five dollars. Like, okay, so let's say you throw $15 in. That gives you four chances to win. I count just you joining as $5. So even if you just join for a dollar, that's two chances to win. $5 donation. See, it goes like, kind of off. So by you joining, no matter what, you get entered into the contest. So yeah, best of luck to everyone. Links are in the video description. I will pick the winner on April 4th. And again, if there's not any like new Patrons or anything, I don't know what else to do. Like, I'm, I, I feel like I'm going above and beyond here, and I don't know. I just love doing the channel so much, and I just get gutted sometimes when I see, like, just, like, what the fuck? Like, come on. Like, I waited 10 minutes to curse, and, like, still I'm getting buried? Like, what the hell? So, let's get sick here. Come on. Join the patron for a dollar, and this could be yours. Yeah, you can be the envy of all your nerdy death metal friends that are like, What the, where did you get that? And it's not a bootleg. This was 100% endorsed by Julian, Kyle, and Chelsea. It even has some art by Chelsea on the back. I'm pretty sure Chelsea drew that. And one of the best, like I said, best death metal demos. And I threw in that little... Insect Warfare, Witch Vomit, Metal Execution Magazine, Double-Sided Flyer slash Poster, Total, to me this is a poser disposing package. So, especially this bad boy and the incantation shirt. Again, the Command album's good. It's just, how does it compare to the Fetid demo? Like, come on. That's, that's night and day there. 
Uh, you're talking about one of the best modern death metal demos, period. I don't know why I'm having a hard time here. Let's start, there we go. Jesus Christ. But yeah, this can be in your record collection. All you have to do is join the Patreon. Join the family. Updated around 20 plus times a day. I work really hard, honestly. Put this in here for you. I work really hard on the Patreon. Like, if you're a Patreon, you know this. And if there's any type of music that you want me to post more of, again, just hit me up and say, hey, can you post some, like, black metal or some brutal death metal or some sick demos? And I got you covered. You just have to hit me up. So, everything up for grabs. To me, this is, like, the best package, honestly. Like, if this wasn't my channel, I'd be like, Yo, what? The fetid demo on vinyl? And it's not the ERP version? Yep. So, that's the March prize package. Again, just a dollar, if you want it to be. If you want to... Now, there's a pig champion... Tier, there's a demon tier, there's all sorts of tiers, but it starts at a dollar, and you just pick your poison from there, you're automatically entered if you are a patron already. You're good. You're set unless you want to add some more after seeing what's available this month. That's up to you. But... Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. Best of luck again. I do not pick the winner until the fourth of the month. The money doesn't go through until the fifth. So just keep that in mind. Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule. Good luck again. Thanks for making today's video possible. Everybody that supports the channel, like, this, like, like I said, this was nine months of, like, pulling my hair out. Because this was one of those, oh, it, 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 it's shipping on Monday. Don't worry, don't worry. Shipping Monday. Monday would come and go, and I just eventually gave up. And then one day, just magically appeared. So, I'm just lucky to even have a copy of it. So, you can have a copy too. Thanks for watching again, as always. Fucking rule. Hails. Peace and good luck. Yeah.